Hello guys and welcome to a new Steel Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you game 2 in a best of 3 between Dinesta and Herobert in Herobert's Grand Tournament. Today we're going to be seeing Sho and on the allied side uh, Dinesta is going to be using the guards armoured and on the Axis side Herobert is using the second panzer. Now in the previous game, Dinesta did defeat Herr Robert with the first Panzerna versus Herr Robert's 21st Panzer. So both players staying on the same faction, but the division's a little bit different. The guard's armoured, it does re retain some of the same characteristics as the first Panzerna, but doesn't rely so much on its, on its air force and more so on its artillery to make ground, which does make the division a little bit slower. On the Axis side, the second Panzer, I would say, is a significant upgrade to the 21st Panzer, so we'll have to see if Herr Robert can take advantage of that. And that mainly comes down to the fact that you can get Panzer IVs in Phase A, uh, which are significantly better than the Panzer 35Ss that you can get with the 21st Panzer. So stabilizing in the early game is going to be a lot easier, and although he may suffer in Phase B due to Fireflies versus his Panzer IVs, in phase C, there is Panthers, and I guess you could also bring in the Panther, Alfklader Panther D, so that might come in as well and really shake things up again in the mid game. But let's have a look at what's actually going down here. Of course, on the side of the Guards Armoured, there is a Cromwell 6, and that's really good for the 1200 meter range on show, so good to see that coming down from the Dinesta. Going to be accompanying that by two units of rifles on this bottom side and a Willys MG there. Uh, further up at the moment we do see a Cromwell 7 alongside the rifles and the Willys OMG. It's going to be an AT gun there and it looks like again rifles and recon for the top side. So the Cromwell 7 can definitely challenge uh, Panzer 4s but actually looks like Dinesta is going to be changing that up for a couple of Stuart 6s. Stuart 6s can definitely do damage to um, the half tracks and infantry that Herr Robert is using and definitely take advantage of the fact that the second panzer does struggle with like expensive units that have a lot of APCs and half tracks so killing those gives you quite an advantage in the early game and Stuart Sixes are very good at doing so but I feel that uh, by removing the Cromwell 7 uh, this panzer 4 is going to have a much better time on the bottom side of the map here and you can see that Herr Robert has got that in it's going to be accompanying it by an SBW223, also a 258. If he fire positions that short of an AT gun, he can definitely take care of those. Then there's going to be two units of spear troop down here as well. For the mid is going to be a 25010 with the Panda Shrek, same deal for the top side. Uh, it's going to be unloading quite short of the town here. And so are these Panzer Grenadiers. So Herr Robert's not really going to be contesting the town early on, just going very hard on this bottom side and since there's not an AT gun down here if this Panzer IV manages to get into the face of the Cromwell 6 here it could do a lot of damage but uh, Dinesta will be able to take quite a bit of ground early on if he's a little bit more aggressive with the rifles both players actually deploying very short of the town and not really contesting it which is interesting to see uh, it seems like both sides really sort of focusing on this bottom side instead now 2 star 258, going to one bang the Willys MMG there. This Stuart could definitely pose a big threat to this bottom side. If it comes down the road here, gets behind this tree line, you could see it sort of use its line of sight to pick off these half tracks and different vehicles and put some pressure onto the side armour of the Panzer IV. That's something I'd like to see, but instead the Stuart 6 is actually heading upwards and Herr Robert's just getting his move on here um, straight into the face of Dinesta's units. So he might be able to get a serious breakthrough and that will definitely help him out in the early game and will sort of nullify this lead that he gave Dinesta early on. Uh, if he can actually get through these tree lines at the beginning of the game that that would put him in a very strong position because often this double tree line really presents a big threat for tanks that try and push through it and often this is sort of the the point where players get stuck. But either way, um, Herr Robert does find the plus one. Uh, due to this being on the old patch, these games were played, I think, in March. Um, 
it is 51% and that's giving a plus one. Now 250.10 is going to be engaging the Stuart 6 but at that range unlikely to penetrate. It does have a two star veterancy so could possibly hit and cause criticals but uh, in this case Herr Robert rightly just backing that off. 258 coming in on the bottom side, Panzer 4H now coming in to the mid as well. So that's both of the Panzer 4s available in phase A for the second Panzer now on the field and they can certainly do a lot of damage here if Dinesta is not too careful. But he is reinforcing himself with plenty of AT guns and if Dinesta does get lucky, maybe brings him some command to accompany these six pounders, he might find some nice kills here, especially as he moves into this tree line. He's going to have a couple of shots onto the Panzer IV possibly and uh, that would give him a chance to maybe get a hit but like I mentioned bringing in command down here would definitely be a nice idea there's not a single unit of command on the map just yet for Dinesta and that may be something that uh, he suffers from as we move through this game but either way Panzer Grenadiers getting some nice shots onto the rifles but with the Stuart 6 in their face those 30 cows certainly gonna hurt another Stuart 6 trying to get into line of sight here as well uh, but with the Panzer IV coming up the road, it's not going to be long until that Panzer IV can engage these Stuarts. The Stuarts are going to have to make a run for it and get into cover as soon as possible. And you can see that's exactly what Dinesta is doing. So good job uh, to get them out of the way. But we're back to a 50-50 for the meantime. Um, with Dinesta having this town under his control, uh, Herr Robert uh, is just going to have to make a little bit more ground on the bottom side in order to do his work. 250-10. Now sneaking out to get some shots onto the Stuart 6. And that is an attack order. I'm very surprised that Herr Robert's trying to take shots from that distance though. Because again, 5 AP versus 6 armor is not fantastic. At max range wouldn't penetrate. This isn't max range though. It's about 700 meters. So there is like a, I think a 10% chance or so that this, the 250-10 will actually penetrate. But wow, the Panzer 4H there. I think alongside the Fock Wolf just ruined that six pounder that unloaded, and it was very unlikely that the six pounder would have got a kill anyway because of its low veterancy. But the Stuart 6 is going to be firing at the 25010. One more shot from the 25010 will force the Stuart 6 back. And if that continues to fire, then we might see that actually die because as it shows side armor or reveals itself to the Panzer IV, it's in a pretty terrible position and does get track wheel destroyed. Pretty much job done there for Herr Robert, taking out one of the Stuart 6s, so nicely done, bringing in the Fog Wolf 190 there to support early on. Down on this bottom side, the 6-pounder here has been spotted by the Spear Troop, and since that is pinned already, the 258 can just move up and fire directly at it. Um, Spear Troop just doing a fantastic job down here. Now Tempest coming in to challenge the Fog Wolf 190. The Tempest, of course, being nice and quick, might get the job done. Hands for trying to help out with his recce. If uh, Herr Robert can blind Dinesta, then that will allow his speed troop to continue to provide recon information. But I think the Humber Mark III might end up killing the speed troop, honestly. It does have quite a lot of HE. I'd be surprised if the speed troop stay alive. But then again, if they get hidden once again into this bush, then they could survive. But they're just as they do, the last shot comes in from the Humber and gets the job done. So. Removes the spear trip on the top side. Uh, does leave things a little bit uncertain up there for the six pounders that Dinesta could potentially bring in. But if Dinesta only has one card of six pounders, then there would only be three on the field and he's already killed one. But as we can see, there is more than that available to Dinesta right now and he is bringing those in. Gepard is on the way with its uh, 20 mil in tow and that will definitely help uh, fight off this Tempest. Stop that from strafing his ground units as he tries to continue forwards. Panzer 4H engaging the motorized rifles here will be slowly but surely picking those off. But I think this Cromwell 7 or 6 up here is in a pretty awkward position because if the Panzer 4 decides to get aggressive and head towards the Cromwell 6, um, it's. I, I think there's a chance here that the Cromwell 6 might go down and that would be really bad. The Cromwell 6 currently trying to kill the 223, which is a smart choice uh, to try and take out as long as the Panzer Fort is not engaging your Cromwell 6. So the Nest is surely going to have to back off here, but instead actually allowing the Cromwell 6 to drive closer to the Panzer Fort 
and that is not good at all. That's just like a plain old attack order there. I think he's probably distracted on the top side as the Panzer IV is making some ground up there, and the Panzer IV does the job here, takes out the Cromwell VI. A heavy loss there for Dynasta. So nice job by Herr Robert. A little bit of a micro mistake for Dynasta. I think he was just distracted by these engagements. Uh, now a Panzer Grenadier going to be coming in trying to make some ground. Might get stopped by the Stuart, honestly, because the Stuart can utilize line of sight here to kind of pick off these half tracks as they come closer. But it's something that we haven't really seen Dinesta take advantage of just yet. Either way, Herobert is sort of being held back on this bottom side, but he's keeping alive a lot of his important units, and that's definitely going to help him build up for another attack through these, like, no veteran CAT guns. On the top side, the Stuart 6. Like I mentioned, going to be able to get shots onto the Panzer Grenadiers. Half track just backing off behind the building is not going to be affected. But the Panzer IV is looking for that close range engagement. There's a chance here the Stuart Six could get the first shot in and get the kill, but not this time around. Panzer IV going to be getting the track will damage onto the Stuart Six as the Stuart Six tries to get out the way. I'd like to see Dinesta micro that a little better and try and get it closer behind this building so that he could then recover the morale and then have another shot at close range. But in this case, Panzer IV does the job, finds the kill, and these Panzer IVs have certainly done work in the early game. But plus one for Dinesta at the moment. It, he is counting up over 350 points now. Nothing significant, only 52% territory lead at the end of the day. Uh, but with these trades going in favour of Herr Robert, it's only a matter of time until he has enough units to really make a significant push in this game. Now in the town, Dinesta taking advantage of the ground he was given by putting some rifles in here. But now under the fire of the Panzer Grenadiers and the half-track, that is not ideal. Six Pounder is also in a pretty tough position here. Um, it's not ideal because... It's, it's not going to be very hard to find like decent line of sight for a six pounder and when it does there's a potential that the infantry can then get involved and that would pin down the six pounders very quickly. Whereas if for example it was down on this bottom side then as the Panzer IV or half tracks try and push forwards you can take advantage of that. The only benefit of the six pounder being in the town is that it is being affected by the motorized rifle leader and therefore has the extra command star. Um, to potentially get a kill and he's, as he pushes around this corner might be able to stop and, and take a shot at the Panzer IV but look at that motorized rifles are going to be pinned down almost immediately also the off map coming in from the Befell or from the BEO Panzer II it really did a gr good job in that position and now the half tracks with the Sturm Pioneers coming in to clean a house uh, there is a, a lot of potential here for Herr Robert to make a lot of ground. He's going to be unloading some of his Sturm Pioneers early. I think I would have liked the second Sturm Pioneer squad to have unloaded first, honestly, because uh, then it wouldn't have got stuck on the half track that stopped in front of it. Uh, but either way, um, that is going to continue forwards, unload the Sturm Pioneers, and, and now we're looking at uh, w where these Sturm Pioneers can go and, and pick up more kills. Panzer 4H going to be taking shots at the 6 pounder. 6 pounder firing back, though. There is potential here. For this six pounder to do a lot of damage, got one more shot, I believe. Actually, the Panzer IV will probably aim and fire faster. Yeah, so manages to pin down the six pounder, and that is quite significant because the Panzer IV is now not under threat once again. The Sturm Pioneers are freely moving forwards here, doing a lot of damage to the motorized rifles. Motorized rifles pushing on the top side as well. Sturm Pioneers down the road. They're going to be smoked off. Nice job there. Nice micro by Herr Robert, actually. Uh, to get that smoke down. Six pounder has arrived on the bottom side and like I mentioned with this speed troop gone, the six pounder not easily spotted and a really good position for Dinesta to take advantage of. So great job by Dinesta on the bottom side to now get the driver wound onto the 258. Might even find the kill. He does indeed. We see a Typhoon AT try and come in and clean up the Panzer 4H but thanks to the Gepard and the Flak 38 being there, they do actually manage to do quite a bit of damage to those aircraft. Another um, Sturm Pioneer is on the way. That's going to be taking on these motorized rifles. Great job by um, Dinesta to move into the same building there. It's actually a really smart move against flamethrowers because they can't use their flamethrowers when they're in the same building as what they're trying to fight against. However, under fire from both the BEO Panzer II and the half track, unfortunately, the motorized rifle is still going to die off. A six pounder looking to recover here. But uh, not sure it's going to be able to for long. It has been spotted by the half track. Half track's going to open up with his machine gun. And, well, he's going to have to take that out. Infantry uh, does get killed on this top side as well. And 
Herr Roberts really done a fantastic job of, of sort of pushing back into this town early on, even though he sort of gave it away uh, to Denestra at the start. Now the Cromwell 7 going to try and save this six pounder. If that six pounder can remain alive, that would be very helpful for Denesta indeed, as it gives a second threat that the Panzer IV will have to worry about. Potential though for this 251 to finish things off, but the Cromwell 7, yeah, certainly a dangerous vehicle up close and personal. Jagdpanzer IV now coming in on the bottom side. That can quite literally face tank these uh, six pounders. So that might be something that we see Herr Robert try and do down here. Uh, then that will enable um, any strafing runs and so on to pin down the six pounders. And then he can get very aggressive uh, with the Panzer IVs. So um, it looks like Dinesta would want to put these onto return fire if he saw this Jagdpanzer coming. Because he doesn't want to accidentally fire at that at max range since it won't really do too much. Now, it looks like the 6-pounder on this top side has gone down. Off-map's coming down once again. The M5 half-track going to get forced back. Cromwell 7 is trying to engage the Panzer IV, but as you can see, the Panzer IV did get shooter-wounded, so he's backing off. Uh, Cromwell 7 also took a critical, but not as bad. So, a little bit of a trade there. This Cromwell 7 has a lot of work to do, though. Going to try and take out that half-track. Does indeed do so. Relieves a little bit of ground. Still only a plus one for Herr Robert, but uh, sitting in a pretty strong position at the moment with these high veterancy units on the bottom side. You can see that Denesta has now chosen to go for that return fire. Definitely a good choice against uh, like a high armor vehicle that you're going to struggle to deal with. Because you want the high armor vehicle to get as close as possible, and then you can like ambush it. And especially in this case, the closer it gets, the more chance at least one of these is going to be a side shot. But unfortunately for... Uh, Dinesta, I think the speed troop there are going to be spotting that six pounder, allowing the Jagdpanzer to take the shot and force that back, which is unfortunate to say the least. Panzer IV now taking the shot at the M5 half track. Cromwell 7 is actually going to be coming into line of sight. This is really dangerous. I don't think the Cromwell 7 is going to get out of there. Two star Panzer IV does the job, and that is unfortunate for Dinesta because now it's just going to get pinned regardless of whether that's a hit or not. And well, it just goes down with a second shot either way. So these Panzer IVs have been absolutely pivotal throughout this game so far. And it just seems as though Dinesta is losing everything and not really doing too much damage in response. The only significant kill was really the 258 on the bottom side. And at the end of the day, that's only like 45 points, I believe. So Herald, but sitting on a lot of resources here. And definitely building up strong for a solid push. Now bringing in the Jagdpanzer IV. Um, for phase B. I always forget that the second panzer does have these uh, Jagd panzers and they can be so damn effective. So good to see Herr Robert making use of those on this bottom side, Cromwell 7 and Cromwell 6 waiting to make an engagement but not really any sort of engagement that's going to be favourable here. Uh, panzer 4 max range will of course kill off um, a Cromwell 7 quite easily. Also now assisted by the Jagdpanzer and the Pack 40 this Cromwell 6 is really in trouble if it does reveal itself, which it did briefly. Plus 2 now for Herobert, sitting in a very, very nice spot in this town. Has Stern Pioneers galore. His Panzer 2 is really good for engaging infantry at close range. Panzer 4 is nice for covering the road and... At this point, Dennis is really going to have to save for like a Firefly or something if he wants to try and take on these tanks from a distance. But still, like a Jagdpanzer is going to be pretty scary to deal with for a Firefly because neither can really hit each other very well and the Jagdpanzer will most likely have more veterancy with the SBW223 in tow. Now this 6-pounder revealing itself sh shooting at the 251 is going to allow the Pack 40 to find the kill there, and that is very unfortunate for Dinesta. You can see that Sturm Grenadiers have come in. They've got the Panzerfaust onto a half track, and just Herr Robert sitting in such a dominant position. I'm surprised that he's not pushing more aggressively at the moment since he has just killed the six pounders on the bottom side. There's a new one on the way uh, for Dinesta. This could potentially be a 17 pounder, actually. Um, but yeah, on this top side, surely he realizes there's not too much left because the salients are pushing so far in his favor and he just has so many more resources. So now once again, the Jagdpanzer getting another shot onto the Cromwell 6. I feel like the is really playing with fire here. 
Uh, Cromwell 7 now coming round the corner as well. Typhoon AT, that's going to be going for the rocket strike onto the Agpanzer 4. It's going to be able to be successful in doing so with the Flak 38s getting involved. But the Pack 40 there alongside the Panzer 4s, I'm not really sure what Dinesta is expecting here. Focke-Wulf 190 also kills the Typhoon AT, which is unfortunate. But this Pack 40, surely only a matter of time until it finds a kill. But instead going to be pinned down by the Cromwell 7 and the Cromwell 6. I guess if the Pack 40 is aiming at the Cromwell 6, then it doesn't have crazy penetration value. Actually, I guess it would. At 900 meter range, you're looking at about 16 AP there. But either way, 17 pounder. <laughs> nice shot there onto the Jagdpanzer on the bottom side. Fantastic kill. And since these Cromwells have pinned down the Pack 40, it leaves the bottom side actually very vulnerable. So potential here for a comeback on the bottom side. If he assists that with even more armor down there, things could change around very quickly. Half track did die on the top side to the Stuart 6 and Humber Mark 3. Vespa has now come in to try and deal with the 17 pounder. We do see the Sherman 5 OP coming in with the off map to take out the Pack 40. Very nice organized pushback here for Dinesta. Might even end up bumping into the Spear Troop, which would be very good for him, removing that uh, recon from Herr Robert because he's done so much work against these AT guns. Now finally getting rid of that information. Black 20 mil does go down. This Panzer IV is still a scary threat, but I feel like Herr Robert doesn't want to like force that engagement because the Panzer IV will get pinned down pretty damn quick in the face of Cromwell 6 and Cromwell 7. The Panzer IV, uh, I'm going to have to back off here. Um, because if it does die as well, um, it does leave the bottom side completely open. And then the Cromwell VI can just fast move in here and clean up the rest of these units. So this is very smart from Herr Robert, just backing off a little bit more. He does still have a lot of resources on the top side, so can try and take advantage of that instead. But another 17 pound on the case, and if that can find another nice shot onto the Jagdpanzer, it might also open up the top side as well, because the Sherman 5 will then be able to engage the Panzer IV. So Sherman 5 getting into range here of the Jagdpanzer. The Jagdpanzer is aiming at the Sherman 5. will actually struggle to penetrate. It's going to be about 14 AP versus 11 armor. So we're looking at about 30 something penetration chance here. But the 17 pounder, can that do the job? Not quite. It is missing this time around. Uh, Stuart 6 and the Humber Mark 3 also trying to get involved here. Just put the hurt onto the Ags Panzer and, and force it back. Now the Panzer 4 getting involved though, and with the two star veteran C versus an already panicked Sherman 5, the Panzer 4 is going to be successful in finding the kill. And that is a great job. Uh, well done there, once again, by Herr Robert. But 17 pound is still a threat. Dinesta picking the lovely combination of units in order to try and put some pressure onto Herr Robert here. But I feel like he's seriously running out of time. Plus two for Herr Robert uh, is ticking up quite nicely now. And with these Sturm Grenadiers in position, um, there's going to be a lot of off map needed in order to push through this town. And, and like pushing through towns in late game in the late game is just like really not. A very good way of making ground and with the Jagdpanzer 4 recovering it does take out the Stuart 6 so now even if the 17 pounder does find kills onto the Jagdpanzer or the uh, Panzer 4 um, there's not really going to be anything armored in order to exploit um, the loss of these units you would really need another Sherman 5 at this point or another Cromwell 7 or something so Dinesta is still in a pretty bad position here does manage to find the crew wound though onto the Jagd Panzer IV, so that's very nice. But now the uh, Panzer IV trying to pin down the 17 pounder as well might be successful in doing so. We can see that these rifles are on the way, but in the face of a Panzer II and also the Sturm Grenadiers, I'm not really sure they're going to make too much ground. 17 pounder now completely pinned, and the Jagd Panzer is free to engage the Humber Mark III and take that out. So yeah, these rifles in a really, really, really tough spot because none of them are motorized, so they don't have the peats, and that means there's nothing to deal with armor, regardless of how close they get. Look at that. Sturm Grenade is even killing that infantry before they unload, and then just ripping these rifles to shreds with their MP44s. This is a nasty infantry engagement here for Dinesta. Just seems like an absolute waste of infantry. 17 pounder assisted now by a Sherman 5 again, but with the 17 pounder under threat. 
uh, that needs to just recover and one bang some stuff if it really wants to succeed and well in the meantime <laughs> I missed this on the bottom side but the Panther Ray has come in cleaned up both the Cromwells uh, both the Cromwell 6 and the Cromwell 7 has now taken out the off map as well that is looking to kill the Vespa and I'm pretty sure that's the hopes and dreams of Dinesta completely tr uh, crushed here I mentioned in the late game how uh, this division is just as effective as like say the uh, the 21st Panzer was in the last game but you just have such a stronger early game um, to really sort of prepare for the late game that now Herr Robert's already in a good position and we've moved into phase C it just gets better from here on out for Herr Robert, regardless of how much damage that Dinesta can really do. He didn't manage to make the push back in Phase B and do enough damage to really put Herr Robert on the back foot. Because if you do actually manage to do that, then Herr Robert would be forced to compensate with cheaper units and wouldn't have the income to really buy any Panthers um, unless he was smart and safe from uh, Phase B. But either way, Sherman 5 going down again, 17 pounder. Um, is still forced back. Half track going to be surrendering some more infantry. You can see how quickly all of those rifles got cleaned up here. And Panthers still pushing on the bottom side, taking out a 17 pounder now as well. Dinesta is in such a just bad position now uh, with the aggression coming through from Herr Robert, just cleaning house, especially on this bottom side. And there you have it. Dinesta is going to surrender after 23 minutes and 12 seconds. Fantastic game there for Herr Robert. And that brings the series to 1-1 in the quarterfinals of Herobert's Grand Tournament. So, all to play for moving into Game 3. And we do like to see three games where we can. 2,055 kills to 995 losses there. Very nice uh, for Herobert. 2-1 KD. Um, Dinesta unfortunately struggling. But this Tempest, it did kill two Focke-Wolfs, which was very nice. Uh, but as you can see, uh, not too many armor kills on the side of uh, Dinesta, and that really made all the difference. Couldn't find a way to kill the Panzer IVs early on, and with those continuing to do damage throughout the rest of the game, um, it, it really just became more and more difficult. The only real significant kill early on, like I mentioned, was that the 258s, of course killing the Focke Wolves was nice as well, uh, killed one quite early on, and then one later in the game. Um, the 17 pounder one shotting the Jagd Panzer opened up the possibility for that push on the bottom side, so that was good. And I, I liked the sort of compositions of units that uh, Nesta was putting together before he made a counter push. Uh, but, the, but the 17 pounders just didn't really perform, and I think there was a distinct lack of command uh, on the side of Nesta throughout the game. In terms of losses, look at this Panzer IV. It went absolutely crazy. Stuart 6s, two Stuart 6s, two Sherman 5s, Cromwell 7, two 6 pounders it killed as well. Uh, this Panzer IV only killed the Cromwell uh, 6, but stayed alive, I believe. Um, Jagd Panzer's really nice choice for Phase B, managed to hold back a lot of the threats um, that Dinesta tried to bring in, and then the Panther just came in and cleaned up later on. So, yeah, smashing job by Herr Robert. Brings it back to 1 1, like I mentioned. So, congratulations to him. Moving into the third game, I'm actually really excited to see it. Um, these games have been pretty damn good so far. And hopefully you guys have been enjoying them as well. Sorry, they are quite old replays. Um, like I mentioned, uh, I think these were played all the way back in March. But this tournament has been going on for so long now. And finally came to a close like last week. So getting around to now uh, just casting all of the replays in order from the quarterfinals. Uh, hopefully you guys don't mind. Uh, they are fun replays to watch. But that's all. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.